Splash! Hi, and welcome to Paige's Animal Spotlight. Today we're going to be talking about royalty here in the ocean, the mighty tarpon. Tarpon fishing has mesmerized people here in Florida since the mid-1800s, and it still does today. Tarpon are still most well-known for their fight, endurance, and ability to jump out of the water. These fish are so much more than a trophy, though. They are one of the most fascinating fish that I have ever learned about. Tarpon evolved into the incredible fish they are today over 18 million years ago. Tarpon can reach sizes up to 8 feet long and 240 pounds. However, they don't start out that way. They start their life as tiny, invisible little larvae that float through the water and then find a place to grow up in mangroves or estuaries. Here are some of our tarpon in the main tank here at the Tarpon Springs Aquarium. These fish can live to be 50 years old, and some tarpon have even been recorded living into their 60s. Tarpon are these incredible visual hunters. Their eyes are very large, so you can tell that they can watch things. Even in the shadows, they're actually able to see their prey better than their prey can see them coming. Watch as somebody feeds one of our tarpon here at the aquarium. They're incredibly fast and can jump all the way out of the water if they want to. That, combined with those big eyes, allows them to grab the food even before it hits the surface of the water. And there he goes! Let's watch from up top so we can better appreciate their speed and power. Each hit is incredibly powerful. It never ceases to amaze me. Here we're trying to feed the sharks from the surface of the water when a piece fell in the water. Those tarpon with that maneuverability and great eyesight grab it first before the sharks even have a chance. With all that power, you can see why they're called the Silver King. Tarpon have the special ability to gulp air at the surface. They have gills as well, but they actually have primitive lung tissues near their swim bladder. So they're able to take a gulp of air, which is a much more efficient way of consuming oxygen. That also helps them to be able to survive in conditions that most other fish couldn't, such as stagnant water where the oxygen level is relatively low.